currently of uh, seven minutes. Mm. Yes, according to public records, uh, the Minister of Finance met with uh, SNC-Lavalin representatives after the... Actually, Mr. Chair, actually, Mr. Chair, actually, Mr. Chair, we are. I'm afraid, uh, no, sorry to disappoint not. you, but we are getting no, into it. And I know you want to cover it up, but you're not going to cover it up. You want to... Uh, actually, it's not pull work. the mic. I have a pull button here, and you're not going to silence me. Pull My job is to defend the, the accountability uh, of you Parliament. I am not going to be silenced by you or anyone else. You Point might have silenced Jody Wilson-Raybould, but you're not going to Mr. silence me. Mr. Pauliette, Mr. Mr. You, Mr. Liberal you Chair, do have the I do have the chair, Mr. You Liberal, Mr. Mr. Liberal Chair. Mr. I'm Liberal sorry, Chair, do I, do have the, the I do have the floor. And I invite the uh, parliamentary a, secretary uh, to... I get a technician in here to pull that mic at... Point of order, and then Mr. Massé, point of order. Ironic, isn't it, that Mr. Sorbera only wants to talk about the tax treaty now? Because a moment ago, he talked about numerous subjects that aren't in the treaty. He talked about unrelated tax policies. He talked about infrastructure projects. He talked about child benefits. He talked about a tax credit for workers. He talked about the small business tax rate. None of those things Thank are you. actually, none of those things are in the treaty. And yet, Mr. Chair, you allowed them to be discussed without interruption. So it is very interesting that all of a sudden, now that the subject has become unfavorable to your party, you have slammed your gavel and, and behaved in a way that helps protect the what, Prime what, Minister's what, office. What's your point of order? My point is, if they can talk about things not in the treaty, I can talk about things not in the treaty. The floor is yours, and if we can stick to that, it'll be uh, great. Well, the government and the committee are of the view that uh, deferred prosecution agreements are a matter for this committee. That's why they put them in the budget, and that's why this committee was responsible for approving it. So, we are on topic. The question I have here is, what was the purpose of, a, of meeting, of the minister meeting with SNC-Lavalin um, uh, when, he, when question, he did so, when he did so, when he order. did so, actually it's in order because it's my time and I will ask the questions Point I choose order, to Mr. ask. Sure. Go I ahead, will ask the questions ahead, that I choose to ask. Uh, uh, actually, sorry, I have point of order. No, he has a point. I'm of afraid. Order. I'm afraid, Mr. Chair, you're mistaken. Point I have the floor. No, I have a point of order, and Ms. my porter point Mr. of order. Mr. I have the floor. Can you cut his mic? The, point, the point of my intervention is this. Talks of vote. The government has said that this is a finance. Interrupting. That's why they put it in the budget, and therefore it is the job of the finance committee to ask questions of the finance minister in relation to his interventions on the matter. I am asking. I suspend the meeting. We're not going to have...